Hello, this is a demonstration on how to use Mental Measurement Yearbook from HBU Moody Library. On the screen you will see the new hbu.edu homepage. If you will take your mouse and click over on Academics, you will see Moody Library right here. Click on that and then scroll down past the picture of Hinton and there's the library's picture and this is where you're going to get to um, the library databases. Please be made aware of the links over on the right side. Uh, there will also be um, links that you'll need to use later on. Okay, so for this session we are going to go to Mental Measurement Yearbook. So I'm going to click on the left side on databases. And you'll see across the top a list of different subjects. We're going to go to psychology and sociology and then scroll down to mental measurement your book with test and print. If you click on more it tells you a little bit of information about this uh, database. It says it's produced by the Bureau's Institute. It has a comprehensive guide to over 2,000 contemporary commercially available uh, testing instruments. It covers additional educational skills, personality, vocational aptitude, psychology and related uh, areas. Online version covers nine volumes to the present. We actually have the older volumes in the library, um, but the up-to-date, everything up-to-date is online. So, um, let's go into this database. One thing I want to point out to you is that Mental Measurement Yearbook these are commercially available, which means they're going to cost you money to get to them. And so this database does not give you the actual test. It gives you the psychometric properties of the test and different other facts about the test. The screen you see in front of you is the screen for logging into the databases to show that you're actually a student, faculty, or staff at HBU Moody Library. So I will log in here. This is the same login used for the portal or my hpu.edu and now I've logged into the database. Don't think of this database as having, as, um, having journal articles or, th or, or different uh, items like that. This is only going to have reviews on different instruments, like I said, that are commercially available out there. Okay, so if you use the drop-down menu here, you see that you have a choice to search by in the full text of the article. You can search by the test name. In the case of this uh, class, we are going to look at back and depression. Um, it's like inventory. So let's go down here. If you know the author's name, you can search by author. Let me click over here in the white. Uh, the subject test category, an acronym, the population you're searching, you're going to be testing, the purpose of the test, and you can use keywords in here, what it is scoring, and you see there's different uh, choices for you to search by. I'm going to leave it at a selected field, which means it will search all these fields except for the text, all text field. Okay, so clicking back on the first text box, you can see with advanced searches, you have three text boxes, and you want to keep the ands on the outside. Anytime you use or, you would use that in the middle of the text box. So in this case, you really don't need that. We're going to type in Beck, and I'm going to just put depression, and I'm going to run that search. You also have a choice to scroll down and limit uh, here by publication date, review available, or the yearbooks. Remember I said that we have the actual yearbooks in the library, um, but they stopped, we stopped buying them after, I uh, forgot what volume it is, probably 19 I think it was. Okay, so let's go ahead and search back depression. Okay, we're actually looking for the Beck Depression Inventory, and this has brought up three hits for us. 
Remember, these are not articles, these are reviews on test. So you can see there's a Beck De Depression Inventory revised, 1993. Another one, Beck Depression Inventory 2. So you probably want to look at the one that's most, the newest, latest one that's out there. But you can look at either one of these. Here's another one for uh, medical patients. Um, so some of these have been changed or, or uh, revised a little for different populations, though they can be. So let me go ahead and click down here on the full text, HTML full text. You're not seeing any PDF links in here. And here's your uh, report or your review. If you scroll down, you will see that you can uh, download these right here to an mp3 player or to your desktop to listen to to play in your car if you have a flash drive where you can uh, plug it in, into your car and you can change the accent American British or Australian and you can listen to that and download in your car so this is a review you see this right here and if you scroll down it's got the um, information of the, that was included actually in the print volumes you would see on the shelf uh, let's scroll down and here's another one so do expect two reviews make sure you read both reviews and you can see who the person who wrote the review and a little bit about them right there and there's your acronym for the Beck Depression Inventory so you need to read through this to see what they have said about this test uh, standard deviation um, you might look for the other psychometric uh, properties in there so I want to show you one more thing that, that people do tend to forget. If you click on the Spec Depression Inventory and look at the record for it by clicking on this detailed record, you're actually going to get uh, retrieve more information about this test. So actually from here you see that there is actually a pub publisher's information. So you could actually go to the online site, excuse me, let me click out of that, and find out if that's how much that cost. Um, this was uh, this review. Let's see if there's a date on that. We've got a price data of 2015. That's one of the questions that you might have to um, fill out for your report. Uh, how much it cost and how it scored right here. Here's some cross references and then your reviewers' names. It says the test is available and looks like a test is available in Spanish. And let's see what else. There's a little small description on the test here again. And if I go back up to the top, it says it can be administered by group or individual. Uh, the population needs to be uh, age 13 or over. It's a personality test. And this is just the record for these two reviews that we retrieved. You scroll down, you again see the, the uh, two reviews that we retrieved. Um, not only can you use this search if you have an actual name of a test, but you can actually search by um, other uh, keywords that you might want to look for. So let's just say um, anxiety. I can act for this to be something that's scored. Let's see if we get anything. Somebody scoring it anxiety. Let's see if we retrieve any names of tests or reviews about tests. And we got 163 hits um, for different tests that are reviewed in here in the Mental Measurement Yearbook that are scoring anxiety. What if I change this a little bit and ask for um, the word anxiety to be in the purpose? Let's see if we get similar hits or different. We got a whole lot less, only 30 this time. So you can see, uh, depending on where you ask this database to search it will uh, change directly how many items you retrieve okay so if I wanted to uh, email this to myself one of these I could actually as long as you see the uh, HTML version of the reviews then you can just click on this and put it in a, your folder I'll take a couple of these and go to the top up here this opens up the, the uh, folder where I have put my retrieved items that I wanted to keep and then select them both 
And then I'm going to move this uh, over a little bit so you can see um, on the right side you can email these to yourself or print or save as a file. Let me scoot this back over since now you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to put my email address here, dkspear at hpu.edu, and I'm going to put in my subject, uh, let's say, to test for anxiety. See reviews and get data from detailed record and then come over here and change this um, citation format to APA don't trust it but this will help you with your citation it usually doesn't give the hanging indent and there's other might be other problems with it but that way when you send it it will try to um, give you the closest it can to the correct citation let me click on send and now that uh, has been sent to my email address. Okay, now I can go back if I want to and run other searches in the Mental Measurement Yearbook. Okay, so remember, tests that are found in Mental Measurement Yearbook cost money, so if you were really needing to uh, find something that would not cost money, you would not want to find an instrument in measure, mental measures yearbook. But if it's for a class like uh, Dr. Hale's class, uh, Psychology 6302, uh, this would be a good source to use starting out. You can also find more information about tests looking for um, actual studies that have used that test and a reading in the methodology section of that test on discussion and results. See if they uh, say that it was a good test to have used, or if they can think of some other uh, changes that need, or revisions need to be made to the test to make it better. Okay, thank you for your time tonight.